with maybe the last question. Yep. Well, this is actually an issue on which I've changed my mind over the 10 years I've been here. When I first arrived, I was adamantly opposed to changing the filibuster. The last few years, I was one of the people on the Republican side who changed my mind and said I was open to changing the filibuster. Why? And what I said publicly is I said the reason I'm open to changing it is I think the Democrats, when they get power, will do this. They will ram it through. I've seen the radicals in their party, and I think they're going to ram it through. And if they're going to do it, I don't think it makes sense for only one side to do it and not the other. I can tell you I've had conversations over the last year with both Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema where I've told both of them, I said, listen, you guys maybe are in the process of proving me wrong, and I'd be very happy to be proven wrong if y'all don't ram this through. Um, I think the world is a much better place with the filibuster, with protection of minority rights. I think turning the Senate into a place where the majority can trample the rights of the minority is a terrible outcome. And, and the reason I have been gone back and forth on this particular issue is I've seen the rise of the radicals uh, in the Democratic Party. And, you know, it, it, it speaks volumes. There were, what, 27 Democrats who signed this letter saying they wouldn't change the filibuster. I would encourage all the reporters here, every one of those 27 Democrats, you ought to be asking them today, are you a hypocrite? You signed it when the Republicans were in power. Do you only support minority rights when you're the minority? You ought to ask every one of those Democrats, do you agree with Chuck Schumer that ending the filibuster is doomsday for democracy? And, and if Manchin and Cinema hold, and I hope and pray that they do, it will protect this institution. And if the Democrats protect this institution, I think the Republicans should as well. And to be clear, we did. The Republicans had the White House, the Senate, the House. We had every ability to do exactly what Chuck Schumer wants to do right now, and the Republican Party didn't. This is a power grab, but it's not just a power grab. It's a power grab to enable a power grab. What Schumer wants to do it on is a takeover of elections. And, you know, it's interesting. The rhetoric the Democrats use on this is Jim Crow. You know, Jim Crow laws were written by elected Democrats, and they were designed to prevent the voters from voting Democrats out of office. That's what Schumer's trying to do today. This is Jim Crow 2.0 of Democrats once again trying to take away the ability of the voters to vote them out of office. It's wrong and it's an abuse of power. And then just because you're, this is all really about the divide in the country and how you handle it. And I think you have to try to make some kind of distinction. And I think that those individuals are one of the few who have not tried to make some kind of fundamental distinction of party. And I don't think that there's many of us who try to put two together. Well, listen, I think there's been wild hypocrisy from the Biden administration when it comes to COVID policies, whether mask mandates, where Joe Biden rightly said we shouldn't have mandates, whether vaccine mandates, where Joe Biden said we shouldn't have vaccine mandates. Uh, as far as I know, everyone here has been vaccinated, been, been double vaccinated, been boosted. And, 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 and at some point, I, look, I, I do know Dr. Fauci has been all over the map on it. He said, yes, mask, no mask. He said, oh, I lied to the American people because they, they, they couldn't handle it. You know, at some point, the American people ought to be able to exercise their own freedom and make their decision. If you want to make, wear a mask, God bless you. You can wear a mask for the rest of your life. That's your choice. But other people ought to be able to have the right and choice uh, not to wear a mask. And by the way, on the question of hypocrisy, you just asked, you people at the podium are speaking without masks. Just once, I'd like to see a reporter say to Joe Biden, when he stands at the damn podium in the White House without a mask, Mr. President, why aren't you wearing a mask? Just once, I'd like to, to see you say to Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, when she stands at the podium with no mask, Ms. Psaki, why don't you have a mask? The questions are only directed at one side, and I gotta say, the American people see the hypocrisy. Thank you all.